edition of The Insider, the ongoing video series that keeps you up to date on all things IPW. I'm your host, J-Rod. We finally made it to Sturgis. Heat was an action-packed event with high stakes in the main event Michiana title match. In the first bout of the evening, one half of the IPW Tag Team Champions, LaDon Sanders, took out the specimen, Chad Alpha. Sanders won the titles along with Jack Verville of 9 to 5, who turned on Wolf Industries and stole Sanders' belt shortly after. LaDon looked great in the match and was able to pick up a huge victory over Alpha, who had previously beaten Sanders a year ago. But we really want to see what will be done with Sanders' position in the tag team division. He and his partner, Jack Verville, have their first mandatory title defense scheduled for September 17th at Homecoming. No opponents have been named, but you have to wonder if they'll be able to coexist and where Derek Wolf fits into all of this. Furthermore, Chad Alpha has been without an IPW victory since June 4th. What does Alpha have to do to turn things around? Max Morrison would come to ringside along with other members of The Forgotten as he faced Mondo Real. Real was last seen tagging with Jimmy Shalwin, but it was tough to see that Shalwin's trust issues kept him from backing Real off. Because Real was in a tough position trying to fight off the veteran Morrison and the instigating Casey Tempest and Jeremiah Nazareth on the outside. In the end, Morrison would go on to defeat Real. Next, we were witness to the return of Scotty Young and his manager, Beck Swisher. Young and Swisher obnoxiously spent a good deal of time promoting their new t-shirts and complaining that Young wasn't getting better opportunities when they were interrupted by a returning Anthony Katina. Katina was last seen in December, so fans were very excited to see him. Katina had yet to taste victory in IPW and wanted his first win to really mean something. And the fans would really love nothing more than to see him put the beat down on Scotty Young. In a fantastic contest, the fans were delighted to see Katina pick up his first IPW victory. Jimmy Shawwin faced Casey Tempest in the next bout. Shawwin has a huge bone to pick with Max Morrison, his former best friend who betrayed him and joined the Forgotten. Considering that, it's no surprise that a distraction from Morrison helped keep Shawwin's eye off the ball enough for Casey to capitalize. Mondo Real would come to Hype's rescue when the Forgotten tried to attack him after the bell, and Hype finally agreed to accept Mondo's help. They called out Morrison and Tempest to a tag team match. It seemed Real was too concerned about making Shawwin trust him and missed out on too many opportunities during the match. Morrison and Tempest would eventually get the win, leaving Hype and Real still in a state of limbo. It seems like Real can be trusted, but will Shawwin let his guard down? The main event of the evening was underway. IPW Michiana champion Brutus Atwell would defend his title in a triple threat match against former IPW tag team champion Terry Van Avery and the leader of the Forgotten, Jeremiah Nazareth. This all began when Atwell offered a title shot to Van Avery out of respect, then wanted to retaliate on Nazareth for attacking him from behind. This was a violent and destructive match that eventually saw Brutus Atwell's reign finally come to an end as Jeremiah Nazareth stunned everyone to win the match and become the new IPW Michiana champion. Nazareth will be forgotten no longer. His name has been immortalized as it goes down in the record books as a champion IPW. That concludes this edition of The Insider. Be sure to join us this Saturday at Ruggers Up and Under in downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan for the final chapter in our triple header, Homecoming.